Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video we are going to create the player HUD widget. So yeah, let's get started. First, we actually want to create a new folder to the Blueprints folder. Let's call it HUD. And let's actually change its color. Set color and let's set it to some shade of white, for example, or whatever color you want to use. Okay, now let's open it right click and let's create a blueprint class let's search for player sorry I mean uh, user widget okay let's select and let's call it player hot for example okay now let's open it and uh, when it has opened soon okay now we are at the designer now what we want to do we want to click here this as uh, a uh, fill screen custom and we want to set it to to the uh, resolution of the screen that we are uh, going to use so let's i will set this to uh 12080 like 2000 uh, 1280 and high to 720 like this and now what we want to do we want to search for a canvas panel and we want to move it to here like this and now what we want to do we want to search for a text and we want to move one text block here okay now let's go here to the anchors and let's anchor it to the top right corner okay now let's set this position x to like minus 50. oh sorry uh first let's set the size to like 200 and now let's set the position x to like uh minus 50 plus minus 200 so minus 250. so now it's 50 units from the corner okay and also the size y let's make it like 60. And also this position Y, let's set it to 50. Okay. And now let's set this text to some numbers that we, so we can just see how it looks. So let's make it like some random numbers there. Okay. Now what we want to do, we want to make the justification to the align text right, like this. And the next thing I want to do, I want to open the font tab and I want to change the font size be a little bit bigger i want to make it like 36 i think okay that's pretty good okay that's there now we want to make this a variable let's make make this true and let's change this name to points okay and actually we can change it to points underscore text like that now we can duplicate this points text like this and let's rename it to money text like that okay now let's change the position x to minus 250 and position y let's set it to for example i would say 125 okay and now we want to change this color to some shade of yellow so like something like that I think that's good for now and now I want to change this size to a little bit smaller so like 30 okay maybe like I don't know if maybe 32 32 okay so now we have our points and uh, money here and we can actually change this to like it doesn't matter these are just for the so we can see it doesn't matter we will add some functionality that this update later on okay and that's basically all for it now for now so let's compile and let's save all let's close this okay now let's go back to the blueprints and we want to go to the gm endless runner let's open it and here on the begin play, what we want to do, we want to move this increase speed note a little bit further down, back here maybe. And we want to add a pin, pin, pin to here, 
and we want to get the third pin and connect it to the increase speed. So let's uh, now we have the second pin that is not in use, or the ten two, sorry, the third pin basically. What we want to do here on the third pin is we want to get get from it so ten two, and we want to create widget, create widget like that. Okay, and let's select the class. It should be the player HUD. Okay, and now what we want to do? We want to promote this to a variable from the return value, like this. Now let's call this player HUD ref. Uh, let's move it to here, okay? And now from this we want to add to viewport, so like that. Now we can compile and save, and now we can go and try. So as you can see, we have the HUD on the screen. It's not working yet, but on the next episode we will actually make the uh, points update. So we will actually make the functionality so the points uh, increase when we are going further. So yeah, I think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And hope you have a great day and see you in the next one.